Views on interracial dating are being purposely influenced by television and motion pictures as part of a political agenda. The objective has been to make interracial dating and interracial marriage something that is universally accepted among young people. As a result of seeing an interracial couple dating on television, more young people will hopefully become involved in interracial relationships themselves. Simon Talley of the Daily Iowan wrote, The next generation that this generation bequeaths will encompass a complex mix of colors. All of this taken together will have profound implications for American society. I have seen the term marrying out used to mean a person marrying outside their race, but marrying out might also suggest marrying a race out of existence. It is insidious for interracial dating to be promoted as part of the often cited Browning of America campaign. It is an easy and bloodless way to rid the world of white people. Genocide by television. I have dated black women. Race was never relevant in these relationships. I have very fond memories of the time that I spent with a tall, lovely black woman named April. I didn't care about her skin color, and she never cared about mine. It is the diversity police that judges us and categorizes us by the color of our skin. I was fond of April. She was sweet and funny. No woman made me laugh as much as she did. We had similar values. Why shouldn't we be together? But she had a problem with the bottle. She drank way too much, which was not something that I could accept. It was only a matter of time before her drinking broke us up. Her color and my color were never an issue. I watched little American television, but the little that I see reveals clear patterns on the subject of race. This is a scene from an episode of The Great Indoors that aired on November 3, 2016. This is a scene from an episode of Westworld that aired three days later on November 6, 2016. Look similar? A white man approaches a black woman for a bar pickup on Thursday night. A white man approaches a black woman for a bar pickup on Sunday night. We are supposed to see the same thing once, twice, three times, four times, as many times as it takes to make an encounter like this routine. So, a white man who sees this tableau impressed upon him again and again will now feel compelled to approach a black woman at a bar. It is a form of hypnosis. I met April at a bar, but I chose to buy her a drink and talk to her out of my own free will. On television, interracial relationships are put front and center in the most contrived and defiant manner. It never feels natural or spontaneous. It is a statement. The casting director didn't happen to find the black actress who he believed would be perfect for the role. He was specifically instructed, find the black actress. If you want to see a population's deepest and darkest thoughts, you just need to look at their porn. These days, a substantial percentage of porn scenes feature a big black man having rough sex with a petite blonde girl. Sometimes, the scenario is that the girl has a wimpy white husband who isn't satisfying her sexually, and she brings a big black man into her bed to have sex while her husband watches. What is that all about? A big strong black man taking a petite blonde girl away from a wimpy white man has been turning up in youth-oriented programming. This includes two series that I recently discussed, Cul-de-Sac and Crazy Head. We are only seeing the beginning of this trend. So, the next time you find yourself feeling attracted to a black woman sitting unaccompanied at a bar, you have to wonder if you would have normally found this woman attractive, or if television and movies have finally taken control of your will and your senses. I thank you for watching. Please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel.